segment, we'll look at some of the relationships between inflation and unemployment, and in turn, how these relate to the housing market. Over the decades covered here, inflation has averaged 4.4% and unemployment falls under 6 From a big picture perspective, rising inflation equals rising mortgage rates, and when inflation trends back down, mortgage costs will follow. Taking a closer look at one of the peaks, we see that rising inflation often leads to recession. These are indicated by the dark vertical columns. During these economic contractions, the demand for goods, services, and employees will fall, and thus inflation will decline. By using a little history, we see that this pattern repeats itself over and over. History will not always mirror what we should expect in the future, yet it can provide a good window for forming reasonable expectations. The red line illustrates unemployment, and we see that this will often move in the opposite direction of inflation. Unemployment clearly rises moving into and often continues well after recessions have abated. Again, we see that this pattern clearly repeats. Fewer workers, less income, less demand, will always equal lower overall wages and prices. The big question becomes, how does this all relate to and impact the housing market? We'll make some room on our screen here and bring up the price history graph. Somewhat surprisingly to many, until this most recent and severe recession, we can see that values across the country actually continue to rise right through each of these contractions. This is true even back in 1981 when mortgage rates crested over 18% and unemployment came close to double digits. Now, unemployment has reached similar lofty levels, yet interest rates have fallen to record lows. Still, the combination of a credit crisis, deep recession, and the resulting widespread fear have combined to bring nationwide housing values down for the first time since the 1930s. Some saw the signs, many did not, and others even acted in total disregard. Few, if any, expected the magnitude of what laid ahead. So yes, we've experienced a roadblock, but it will be cleared. This is not Armageddon. Many of us purchased hoping for our own real estate pot of gold and ended up with something else instead. Yet the difference is all in the timing, or is just a matter of time for those that use history to base their expectations, can still see past the present. Just look deeper and find the right image to follow. Learn from what the past will teach us. Soon we'll see today's problems as tomorrow's opportunities and things will change for the better.